Alrighty now. Welcome everyone to the I Talk Fortnite podcast episode number six. Welcome everyone. I hope you're doing well on this lovely Tuesday morning. It was just raining earlier, but now the rain stopped, which is always a good thing. And as always with every single podcast I do, this is meant for audio only. So this is meant for you guys to just listen to me talk about Fortnite <laughs> and just play another game while you're listening to me, whether it be, you know, I don't know, save the world or whatever you want to do. I, it's not up to me. It's up to you, honestly. And um, we're here uh, on this beautiful Tuesday morning, August 28th, 2018. Let's get into the podcast. So once again, guys, thank you so much for the support. I actually like woke up an hour early. I thought the patch was going to be put out at 4 a.m. Eastern because that's usually what they do. But this time they did it at 8 a.m. Eastern. So I woke up at 7 o'clock for for no good reason, honestly. So that's not really that much of a big deal. But we have a few things to talk about today. And I hope you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves while I talk to you about what's been going on so first things first uh i haven't even checked my channel yet we are <laughs> excuse me we are actually 19 subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers already and i was just thanking everyone for a thousand subscribers a day ago uh-oh fortnite game just tweeted out saying that there was a hot fix on the way uh-oh what happened they just put out their patch five minutes ago there's a hot fix already what the hell? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> That's so random. What actually happened? I, I don't know. But anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is obviously the uh, the 5.3 content update that just released five minutes ago. And in this, they introduced the shockwave grenade. I'm going to tell you guys, as I've said in previous podcasts, I believe... I think they're running out of ideas. I, I feel like they're putting too much into the game right now. I mean, the weekly updates are a nice thing, but like, I think it's oversaturated at this point. Uh, but anyway, it says for the shockwave grenade, uh, this new item launches players great distances without inflicting fall damage. The blast is so strong you can launch players through structures. Oh my god. That's actually awesome. I didn't know that. Through structures? Oh, dude. That'll be pretty fun to do. I'm excited to try that. They brought back solid gold. Oh, wait. It says, all things that glitter are gold. Battle with all legendary weapons in the solid gold and solid gold 50v50. Thank you. Oh, my God. Solid gold is one of their best limited time modes. Hands down, one of their best. And, uh, yeah. That's and they have it for 50 v 50 as well. This is gonna be insane. I can't wait for that. I'll I'll probably be playing the the hell out of that today. Um, so yeah, we got that. Got some for say the world. And we don't really need to know about because we're not really a save the world channel. All right. So limited time mode 50 v 50 solid gold. That's new. Never actually had 50 v 50 solid gold before. So, new Shockwave Grenade. Shockwave Grenade will knock players back and destroy objects in their path after being knocked back. Allies, enemies, and vehicles hit with Shockwave Grenade are hit with the... They forgot the... With Shockwave Grenade will not take fall damage. Drops in stacks of 2, maximum stack size of 6. Epic Rarity can be found in supply drops, vending machines, llamas, and chests. So it can't be found as floor loot. Okay. That's pretty interesting. And that's actually it. This was a small update, but that that's it. I was kind of expecting it to be pretty small. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it for the challenge. Uh, have a good one, guys, now. Um, but that that is all the patch notes, if you were curious. Nothing got buffed. Nothing got nerfed. No, no skin changes, unfortunately, which... Kind of sucks. I wish we would get power cord fixed already, but you know what? Whatever. I'm just not even going to bother. I don't even want to, you know. 
Ah, <sighs> so the other thing we can talk about is the galaxy skin and how I might actually have it on my account within like the next give or take like 10 hours maybe. So if you guys are unaware, which I highly doubt, but if you are unaware, there is a way you can get the galaxy skin for free. And I was planning on making a video about it, but then it turns out about 24 hours ago, Samsung has decided to not to put their phones, I believe, in retail mode, meaning that they can't access the Internet and stuff like that, which um, I actually found a workaround for that. So if I actually get the Galaxy skin on my account, I will make a tutorial on how you can still get the skin for free because they didn't. What happened is, is they didn't like. They didn't make it. So, like, I'll you'll see in the video. It, it's a it's a very simple workaround that not many people seem to be doing. Uh, however, if there is a phone that's in like those cases where you literally can't take it out, then yeah, you can't do it unless he asks someone, and they're not gonna let you download a phone, a uh, download a thing, you know, for you know all that. So, but yeah, um. So yeah, the Galaxy skin's pretty fucking dope. I won't lie. And uh, I'm excited to uh, finally have it on my account if I can get it. I got, I tried it at my local Best Buy at 3 p.m. yesterday, my time. And it, they, they tell you it usually takes between 12 to 24 hours. It's been about 16 hours now. So hopefully I'll still get it. But if I don't get it, that kind of sucks. But I did play like seven games, so I should, I should be good. I, I played more than enough. And um, if you don't know how to do it, <clears throat> if you don't know how to actually get the skin, I can just, I'll just tell you right now. So what you, you the only way you could get the, the uh, Galaxy skin is through two different methods. The first method is pretty null and void at this point. You had to have pre-ordered the Note 9 or the, the new tablet, which I believe is called the Note 4. Don't quote me on that. I don't know the new tablet. I only know the new phone. You had to have pre-ordered that and then selected the Galaxy Skin bundle, which is the Galaxy Skin, and then 15,000 V-Bucks. And then that was it. Or the second method was that you got a brand new phone, which was the Note 9, or the tablet, which once again, I don't know the name of the tablet, and you sign into your Epic account on that, and then play three games where you get eliminated, where you either kill yourself or get shot by someone else. Doesn't matter as long as you die or you eliminate yourself. Then those counts as games. If you get play three games, you'll get the skin within 12 to 24 hours. Um, that's basically it. N now, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Fortnite game is scaring the shit out of me. We have waiting to update the news. Hmm. We are waiting to update the news until we have confirmed all regions and platforms have gotten the hot fix. So apparently the new fix, the new content update as of right now, I don't think it even went through. I think that's why they're, I, 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 I deleted, I didn't delete Twitter. I took my Twitter off my computer so it doesn't notify me randomly like that again because that shit's scary. Um, I don't, uh, I guess they put out the content update. Without putting out the content update. Because <laughs> we're supposed to be getting the new um, uh, the new Ace skin for the starter pack. Which, honestly, if you haven't gotten the starter pack skins by now, uh, I would recommend you buy every single one. If you plan on spending V-Bucks in this game. Uh, considering it is $3. Sorry, I'm starting out my game because I'm just seeing if the content actually went through or not. And we'll find out right now. Or maybe I got the skin. That'd be cool if I got the skin. I did not get the skin, and it does not look like... Nope, they never updated it. All right, well, I'm patient enough. I'll wait for them to actually put the content update out. But, uh, yeah. How are you guys doing? Um, I, I, I'm actually, like, in shock with how fast this channel is growing. I never thought my channel would grow this much, and it's kind of, Like... My power cord video, which, by the way, I don't know if that hit uh, 100,000 views yet. I'm kind of... Oh, my God. It's at 99,000 right now. Oh, my God. I wasn't expecting this video to get a lot of views. I really wasn't. 
Not in the slightest. I made this for my friends because a lot of people didn't know why I wanted the power cord and rock out to come back. And my friends were like, you know, I tried to explain it to them and they're like, I, I don't get it. So then I made a video about it. So I didn't make the video as professionally as I could have, but like, my God, <laughs> almost a hundred thousand views on a vi on a channel. That's like I said, like maybe a two, two, like two weeks old, three weeks old now. Is it three weeks old? From my first upload, is it? Hold on, I'm gonna find that out right now. Live and in color. Three weeks ago, because my first podcast was the first video I ever put out, and um, yeah, it was just uh, I I I can't believe it. I didn't expect to get this much like notice. I really, I really did not. It's it's really astounding to me, but I couldn't be more thankful. Honestly, it it, it is a little bit uh, overwhelming. But uh, I'm testing a few things out. I'm seeing what you guys like to watch and what you guys don't like to watch. Um, I see a lot of support for Power Cord. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be only focusing on Power Cord. Because if I was to do that, I've said this many times before. But if I was to focus on Power Cord content, it would get me nowhere. And I don't want to be nowhere. I want to keep moving forward. I want to keep moving on and all that good stuff. But you see, you guys seem to be liking the investigating Fortnite clickbait, which I will continue. You guys seem to like the top 10 rare skins video I put out, so that's good. Um, yeah, power cord video again, you seem to like that. Yeah, yeah, just, I'm going to try to mix it up. I have a lot of ideas, like I said. Uh, music videos, I can't do unless I have Rock Out on my account, so that kind of blows. And, uh... The machine idea, I can actually start on working on that now. I just have to work on a script, and that could take a while. So maybe I'll try working on that. But as for content, I'm probably going to do a, a second episode of Investigating Fortnite Clickbait. Which, uh, by the way, I've gotten a lot of comments telling me I was being toxic. And I want to find this one comment. I actually... Um, I want to find this one guy who... Yeah, wait a minute. Let me let me find this one comment here. Okay. So he times he timestamps me. Oh wait. No, 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 no. I'm not even never mind. I'm actually not even talking about that. Oh, okay. Okay. Actually, no, these but both these comments actually make sense. So he timestamps me on when I said you should report this guy's channel for misleading spam because it was misleading. It was misleading. And I shouldn't have done that. I, I agree. I should not have told people to do it. I was just so pissed off that this guy with so much subscribers and so many views was making his views off of lying. Like, I'll probably make a video about why I, I, I despise clickbaiters because I made a video from from the heart. I I did research on it. I I made I made things for it. This guy threw together a fucking list of random ass skins. He's like, oh yeah, Cuddle Team Leader and Love Ranger. Yeah, those are rare. Those won't come back till next Valentine's Day, even though he outdated, like he didn't outdate himself enough. He said it was as of May 2018, right? Those skins came back at least once a month. They came out like once a month. And so for him to lie through his fucking teeth about it is just, it pissed me off. And people are actually defending him. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking get it. But this one guy, he, he, he timestamped it. I said, I do believe he should be reported for misleading. I'm saying don't spam hate on his channel. And then he said, uh, not misleading because it was his opinions, even though he never said it was his opinions. It's not like kids would hear his opinions on Fortnite skins rarity and they would be brain dead after or something. They would believe it. If a two, th okay. If a two million subscriber channel told you that this was going to happen and this was going to happen, why wouldn't you believe him? Because he's he has a huge audience. Why would he lie? You know? Like, why would he lie? I don't know. I don't think his video should get token down because someone is sharing their opinions on Rarity on Fortnite skins. Also, are you going to make a vid making your own list? I already did that. But, um... See, that's the thing. Sharing his opinions. If, if they were his opinions, fine. But he said things... As fact that were not fact. 
He said that the Valentine skins have only come out during Valentine's Day, which is a complete lie. That's not an opinion. That's a lie. So, I don't... I don't get why people are defending him. I got mad because he made a, a really fast video with, he gave no, no, uh, what, 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 he didn't give any, um, credit to any of the gameplay he used. I only found out none of the gameplay was his because he said that he didn't have the, um, the Rabbit Raider skin. And, like, I don't know. I feel like it, this happens with me on Twitter, too. Every time I say something, and then someone says something back to me. And then I say something back to them. I get hate every single fucking time. I get backlash for me wanting Power Core to come back. I get backlash for saying, to tell to tell someone to learn to spell Power Chord. And they're like, oh, well, bro. It's fucking, you do, so what? He spelled Chord the other way. Like, I don't win. I can't win. I can't win is what I'm trying to say. I can't. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. It really doesn't bother me that much. Excuse me. It really doesn't bother me that much, but it's still just annoying and kind of two-faced of some of these people. But uh, then this this person commented. He said, uh, you were so toxic, mate. That was his opinion. I'm not even his subscriber or something, but that was toxic of you. I've never been called toxic before. But... um. I responded, he stated everything as fact. He never said it was his opinion. He blatantly lied about most of the skins to trick kids. Did I overreact a little? Maybe, but you have to remember, someone with that size of an audience just lies to his viewers slash subscribers for views and subs is wrong on so many levels. And that is true. You could say, you, you, have, you have a pedestal. When you have that many subscribers, he has 2 million. When you have that many subscribers, you have, you have somewhat of a, uh, you know, a responsibility to be like, listen, y like, why would you, why would you lie to your fans about stupid shit? Why would you do that? Because it's easy? Probably. I could say the sky is green. And I, I bet I could probably trick at least one person into believing it. Because... You know, it's just, I make content on the internet, and it's just ridiculous. I, I don't, I don't believe I'm toxic. What I do believe is that people that get away with this shit just piss me off. And it's just annoying. Seeing people defend them, especially ones that aren't even, like, fans of his, defending him because, just because, like, would you lie would you, like, I understand if you're misled, if you said something that your friend told you, but this guy, like, he got so many things wrong in the video, and he has time. He does YouTube full-time. He has time to do research. If I had time to do research for my stupid little power, what happened to Power Core and Rock App video, he has time to make, he, he has the exact same amount of time to do that, and I'm not trying to hate on anybody. I'm really not, but it's just frustrating. And uh, I will continue that series. I will tone it down a little bit. I won't tell people to go and uh, I won't tell people to go flag their channel because I never meant to say that. Like I said, I was just very, I was just very annoyed. That, 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 that's all. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's actually, I think that's about it for this podcast. Actually, I'm, that's basically it. Um... I have nothing much else to talk about. Oh, yeah, the Q&A. Um, I, I, I put out a video saying thank you for a 1,000 subscribers, which is already outdated. And I mentioned that you can leave comments down below on that video if you would like your comments answered. On my podcast, if you have comments that you would like to ask me, leave them down in the comments of this video as well. I'll answer them in the next podcast, which should be in either a few days or next week when we get the uh, next patch. And uh, I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you for we're going to we're going to hit 2000 uh, subscribers in probably like an hour. I think an hour, I think, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we're probably going to hit it in an hour. Thank you guys so much. I'll probably, like I said, I'll make a video on how to get the Galaxy skin the new way. If 
Uh, if I actually get the skin, if it actually worked for me, I will do it. I'm not going to do it if it didn't work for me, because, like, why the fuck would I say, hey, this worked for me, even though it didn't. It could work for you. Why would I lie to my fans? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why people lie. I don't, I don't get it. It's cheap. It's m manipulative. Manipulative. I can't, I, someone, a few people commented saying I couldn't say, uh, mar marauder. I was saying marauder. <laughs> <laughs> that was my fault. I don't know, dude. I don't know why I can't say that word. I, I, I said it now. Marauder? Marauder? I think that's how you pronounce it. Marauder. Okay. I'll get better at that. Thank you guys so much for listening to the I Talk Fortnite podcast episode number six. I am your host, GovHQ, with I Talk Fortnite. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Which, by the way, I've noticed a few people were saying that their my videos weren't hitting their sub boxes. I hate to say it, but in my next video, I am going to mention this. You're gonna have to turn on notifications so you get all my videos. Uh, YouTube is actually really dumb with this. If you subscribe to a YouTube channel, that isn't a hundred percent guaranteed you'll get all my videos. That's like saying that's like saying you order a year's supply of Sports Illustrated magazines and you only get like nine of them, nine of the twelve. Because you didn't hit the notification bell. That That's basically the best analogy I can come up with. So if you like my content, if you want to see more, hit the bell. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the like button if you enjoy this podcast. I won't beg for it. Follow me on Twitter at italkfortnite. Join the Discord. Have a good day, everyone. See ya.